What is up, everyone? Happy Friday, November 3rd, 2023. Hope everybody's week has been great. We got green coming in. The Dow 208 points. NASDAQ uh, up 51. S&P up 27. So, it has had a gap up more than 0.25% S&P has. So, I've been, yesterday I did my first reverse iron condor for a winner. And one of the criteria is to put it on if it has a gap up of more than 0.25%. Apple had earnings yesterday, and it's down a little under 2%. It's come up some, though, since it dropped. It's Friday, so we will use the... Seven days to expiration option chain. So make sure you're on those. Not the zero. Morning, rookie trader. Morning, bumblebee. Seven DTE, seven days to expiration. <clears throat> Had a really good day to start November. What was that on Tuesday or Wednesday? Last time I was on. So hopefully Friday gives us a few uh, good good looking signals, and we'll be able to uh, get in a couple of trades, and then probably just get out. Don't quite trade as much on Fridays typically. <laughs> there is the bell. We off. VIX opens up down two percent. It was up over 20 not long ago, now it's down to Dow up 175, NASDAQ up 55, S&P up 24.
S&P pushing up. NASDAQ trying to push up. Roku pushing up. Square had earnings yesterday. I noticed it was up pretty big. It's currently up 14% now. Get in the second bar here shortly. Some Boeing pushing up. In our second bar here now, so we'll be looking for some volume. Apple's down uh, about one and three quarter percent. So it's come up a little bit since uh, it's earnings yesterday after the bell. Yeah, PLTR had uh, good earnings as well. Not really seeing any volume at the moment.
nothing, nothing sh ah, shaking. Airbnb, ah, Airbnb, I was going to say, but it just turned red. So I don't want to keep an eye on that, see if it pushes up here or not. Nothing, nothing looking too, too good at the moment. Airbnb just not moving enough for me to want to want to try to get in that. AT and T, yeah, I haven't never never uh, day traded AT and T. So far, nothing, no signals yet. Sometimes you got to be a patient on Fridays. So we will just be patient. <clears throat> Look for some mighty 90s here now. Yeah, Baba could get a mighty 90 here. Keep an eye on that one. 
Let's see if that gets bigger than the previous, but not as big as the first. Tesla potentially. <clears throat> A lot of green on the board. So Baba is already there. How much time we got left? 30 seconds. Okay, so Baba, I'm going to look at the... Seven days to expiration. The 85 puts... Try to jump in here at dollar thirty. Build it a dollar thirty in Baba on the eighty five puts. It's like a mighty ninety there. Tesla had a Tesla had a mighty ninety as well. Let's just stick with Baba, and I would close half at a dollar forty five. Boeing, interestingly enough, had a nice push up here. It's just kind of a little three bar pause. Roblox, yeah, Roblox had a little mighty 90 there. I like to see a little more volume pop, a little, a little more separation, but technically, yes. See, Tesla is pretty good where it's has good separation and then it continues to push. We'll look at a mighty ninety short in Tesla. Uh, Two twenty five puts. Oops, I gotta get to the seven DTE. My bad. Two twenty two point five puts. Two twenty two point five puts. Try to get. Filled at four ninety. Let's 
I'm on the 225 puts. I have not got filled yet. It's interesting. I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. Baba really pushed up. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get filled again here. Cause it. Well, hold on a second here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna get as big as the first. So, two twenty five puts now. Two twenty five. Uh, why can't I get filled? Filled at 550 on the 225 puts of Tesla. And I would close half at 605. So Baba pushed up, wondering if I could have added to Baba. I was messing with Tesla. Yeah, I probably could have, but it's come down since. So I guess I'll just leave it where it's at for now. I was going to add it like $1.15. It has since come down. Yeah, NVIDIA, but not much volume separation there. So I am um, now Netflix. Yeah, Netflix had it here. It even had three bars, but it's already come down a bit. Airbnb, nice looking mighty 90. You can see how that separation is definitely distinct right there. I am in two mighty 90 shorts, so that's all I'm going to do for the at the moment. In terms of a mighty 90 short, I'm not gonna get into three. But Airbnb definitely has one going on if you want to try that one. That's the pushing right up to highs. Sometimes I think when things move so fast, it doesn't get filled. Build it a dollar thirty uh, five. Did I put that in wrong? <laughs> I did. Oopsies. Um, I got filled on a dollar thirty five and a half. My Baba. That's not what I meant to put in. I meant to put in a dollar forty five. Tesla pushing up. I would add to my Tesla like five bucks. Yep, Eddie, seven DTE is correct. Now, 
What I don't want to have happen is what happened to us in Meta on Wednesday, where this bar gets bigger than the first on a mighty 90 short. If that if it gets bigger than the first, then that's like, okay, that turns into an upside volume runner, and it's time to bail on it. Got a minute to go. The bar needs to slow down. Baba not going to give us a red bar. No, nope, no, nope. Tesla's not going to get there, thank goodness. So, still looking at a mighty 90. I was kind of hoping to add, add to it at five bucks, but it never, never filled me. Yep. Netflix or uh, Tesla did not get there, just about the same. As the previous volume bars. No red bar out of Baba yet. Unfortunately, I got out of half, just a little above where I entered. Because I entered it wrong. Yeah, we're in a mighty 90 in Baba. So we get two consecutive red bars. Apple trying to get the highs of day. Oh, Amazon had a big green bar. I never saw that. Kind of came back down, though. Boeing coming down. AMD had a mighty 90 here, and it pushed back up, although that bar is close to as big as the first, so... Be careful with that one. Yeah, AMD, that green bar is as big as the first, so I would not play AMD as a mighty 90. Yep, right, blockchain, got a bar as big as the first, if you want something small to trade. Yep, Disney with a mighty 90 short. So any of those are fine to take if you want. I'm just sticking with my two that I have. I've got an order at five bucks to add the Tesla. Let's see if it comes up and hits me.
Roblox looks like it might get a bar as big as the first. <clears throat> AMD really pushing up there. So is Tesla going to give us a red bar? Abba has not yet. See, Netflix had that mighty 90. Now it's getting two consecutive red bars now. I was in Tesla, so did not do Netflix. So I'm going to add to my Baba here at $1.15. You can push up here for me. Build it a dollar seventeen. So I added to Baba because it pushed back up here. And kind of where it got rejected before. And I would close half at a dollar thirty. Close half my position. So trying to give us two red bars, even though it hasn't really moved much. So I'm gonna cancel my ad that I had for Tesla. It's not gonna not gonna happen. And I'll I'll get out of my Tesla here after the second red bar. We've got a couple minutes left. I do have an order in at 6.05 to close half. I don't know if that'll 
it'll come down and hit that or not. I might have to just close it out because I'm getting two consecutive red bars. Baba finally coming down. Got an order to die. Yeah. I thought it was going to give us red bar, not pop back up. Crikey's. So. Tesla going to give us um, two red bars here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close all but two of my Teslas. I'll see if it wants to push down one more time, leave a couple contracts on. Build at 580 to close, just say three quarters of my Tesla. I'm going to see if I get a push down here. Wow, Roblox with a big volume bar to the upside. Interesting price movement today. I'm going to close the rest of my Tesla. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm just going to hold my Tesla for about another minute. I'm going to give it about one more minute to see if it wants to push lower. Yeah, Tesla's or uh, Baba's just not moving. You can see how tight a range it has. Just watching Tesla here. See if it'll push down one more time. I'll definitely be closing Tesla here in a second. Ah, but man, I thought I was going to get filled on half my position there when it pushed down but did not I 
I'm going to close my Tesla now. I just didn't want to stay down. I thought maybe I had an order at 605 to close some of it and it didn't, didn't fill. So. But it is a mighty 90, so rules are to close it all out. I left a couple open just in case. I've got an order in at six bucks to close it. Meta really coming down here. Build it a dollar thirty. Close half my position in Baba. Trying to get out of Tesla here. Build it, build it 605. Close half my Tesla. I'm, I'm sorry to get out of the, my last final two contracts that I had on. So Tesla's closed out. Bobby gave me one red bar. Yeah, Roblox. It's got really tight range on it. I usually just ignore it like that. So I just need one more consecutive red bar and Baba. Microsoft just flatlining. Well, Baba popping back up. So the other thing that scares me a little bit here about Baba is I'm in this mighty 90. It's kind of consolidating, turning into maybe an upside continuation runner as it's pausing here. So, but a lot of times you'll get two two red bars out of it and then it'll then it'll continue up. So I hope that's the case. Tesla's still coming down, man. Guess I could have left left the contract on.
Very typical Friday. Just not, I mean, I had some mighty 90s signals, but other than that, I haven't had much. Pretty typical. Yep, just tight range in most stocks. Not not a ton of volume. Netflix had another mighty ninety long right here. Guess I could have gotten into that. I missed that one. Okay, so Baba, she may be coming down to give us a second red bar. Come on. Square pushing through lows of day. Come on, Baba. You can do it. Fall all the way down to this pivot. All right. So I'm going to be getting out of my Baba here. All right, so I'm going to close out my Baba. Go to the dollar thirty-three. Close Baba. So it squeaked out two red bars, barely. Tesla's still coming down. Darn it. That's crazy. Well, not in anything right now. I've only, only taken two trades. They were both winners. Not really seeing anything continuation-wise. Look at Boeing. Had a big push up out of the gate. Then it just chopped, and then it came down, dipped its toe below this consolidation, popped right back up. <clears throat> it's, just, it's just you can see this pattern a lot. It's like, oh, I'm going to dip back down. Oh, I don't like dipping my toe in that cold water. I'm getting going back up. Microsoft was the one I was actually looking at for an upside continuation runner. See how it pushed up and then it just chopped, but it did not. It was I was thinking it. Man, well. Well, folks, I don't think I'm going to get anything else. It's almost 920 Central. I wish I could give you some uh, potential ones to get in if you want to continue trading, but there just isn't a lot going on. Square? Mm, I mean, it's not much volume there, though, really. Let me take a look at Toss. See if it looks better. It's up 12%. So it's not a bad idea to get long. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it could qualify as a... Yeah, it's a little better than Toss. I mean, it's a tight range, but if you wanted to trade something long, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go long because it's up 12%. So if I was to get long something, it'd probably be square right here. Especially how it's come down to this pivot and Toss. So, all right, guys, I will see everyone next week. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Peace.